Yeah, welcome to the Northern German Lowlands. Yeah, um, part of the family lives up here in the well, north of Germany. And, well, what can I say? It's <coughs> Lowlands. And we will see uh, <laughs> quite a bit of it. Uh, well, as long as the battery can still power the camera, that is. And since this is my new DJI action camera, the batteries won't last very long. And I, yeah, I'm doing handheld photography here with uh, picture stabilization on. Um, yeah, we are in a typical village and yeah, by the way, uh, they still do these grass roofs here in these parts. Um, but we are at the very edge of the village and we're getting out now into the fields where I can show you some of the, yeah, per, per, uh, uh, I don't know the word, the, the oddities of uh, these lowlands here, which are historically moors. So, uh, yeah, in the olden times, so I don't know, 500 years ago, before men cultivated this area, you couldn't really walk here. It was all sand and moor and bog, not very nice. And yeah, did I mention it's the lowlands? So yeah, uh, <laughs> you won't see any mountains around here. Absolutely none. And also until, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe a little more than 10 years ago, uh, most of the roads out here in the fields, yeah, for the farmers, were actually dirt roads, like the one I'm walking on now. But as I said, uh, about 10 years ago, they got some money and they paved most of these dirt roads. I mean, they are still not open for uh, yeah, normal traffic. Uh, it's still just for farm vehicles. Uh, that's a theory, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah. And we will meet up with such a paved uh, farm road or a former dirt road in just a minute at uh, yeah the end of that dirt road. And yeah, we are, we are exactly at the edge of the village, so these are the last properties here to my left before it goes out into the fields and yeah, it's all very flat and low. Uh, the low part we'll see in a second. Also, the ground is very sandy. You won't find any rocks until you dig down a uh, really deep. That has its pros and cons, I guess. So uh, it's really easy for a normal one family home or two family home to dig out the foundations. Uh, yeah, because it's basically sand or uh, yeah to drill down holes for, you know, extracting heat from the ground with some uh, heat pumps and stuff. That's also very popular in this area. Or to have your own well. Uh, but of course, this is also a 
problem. I already mentioned uh, when we started this walk that this is or was all more. And I think until, yeah, before and during World War II, they came out here and they basically cut out the more material and dried it and used that for uh, for heating. They burned it. It's I mean it's a pre-stage to uh, to coal. If you let it <laughs> leave it alone a few more million years and put some more stuff on it and compress it, at some point you will have coal. Uh, yeah, but since then it's more yeah lots of cornfields that time of year. It's more yeah agricultural area. Oh by the way this was a dirt road too uh, ten years ago also. Uh, one of the many dirt roads that have been paved over but uh, still yeah just intended for farm vehicles. Yeah, somebody got a lot of money here. And this is the first of the uh, draining ditches. Uh, yeah, draining ditches uh, that crisscross the whole area because without those draining ditches this would return to its natural state of being a boggy moor. And you can see this is basically the water level here. Yeah, this is just fed from groundwater seeping in here and then that's directed to uh, yeah, some stream, some local stream. We will have a look at that too. And if you watch where we came from, from the village, that's actually a little bit more elevated. And <laughs> if you literally uh, <clears throat> translate the street name of a uh, road name, street, of a street up there along the houses, it's called the <laughs> Fox Mountain. Uh, well, in every other area in Germany, this would not even qualify for a hill, uh, maybe a mount, so the Fox Mount. And yeah, this kind of, you, you seek out a slightly higher place for your buildings and stuff, uh, that's also <laughs> quite typical because it's necessary in this area. And you know, for graveyards, actually, for graveyards, uh, they put up artificial mounds. So if you dig down six feet under, you're not standing in the water. And if you would, for example, here in this field, dig down six feet, um, you're digging in water. You're standing in groundwater. And let me see. No, that's not. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. That's a disused drainage drainage ditch right here. And you see, yeah, the road is former dirt road is also a little bit further up. Uh, we will come now to the dominant uh, stream or creek or yeah, it's not not a big river. Uh, where all these drainage, drainage ditches are going into and this is carrying ultimately all the water out to the North Sea, which is uh, not really near. Yeah, it's uh, 100, 200 kilometers from here, uh, maybe 100 kilometers. Uh, yeah, this is also typical that you have uh, some trees or bushes 
along the roads just to keep the wind in check a little bit also all fields are usually framed by a row of trees or something to keep the wind in check otherwise if you don't have any crops on the fields uh, yeah did i mention we are in basically lowlands so there's absolutely nothing mountainous or so around here that could slow down the wind so as i said if you have no crops on the field and it is dry and you wouldn't have these hedges or tree lines to slow down the wind uh, the dry soil would just be blown away by the wind that's the problem with the lowlands i mean it's really easy to work that land because it's so flat but it also has its drawbacks. So also about 10 years ago, maybe it was uh, some European Union funding or something, I don't know, uh, they re-naturated uh, this whole area left and right of the stream. Yeah, this was obviously put dry. They <clears throat> Reflooded it and yeah there's we see that after we're over the bridge but before we go over the bridge we can go actually down to the stream and have a quick look see there Yeah, I mentioned this goes ultimately over some larger rivers into the North Sea and all these drainage ditches in the area go into that stream. And it's brown because this is water from basically still the moor. Just a quiet little spot I personally like. Uh, yeah, there's a culvert here that's basically putting some water into that renaturated stuff here. Uh, ten years ago, this was uh, basically just completely closed off here. You saw where they dug down a little bit. And this was, like all the fields, uh, dried out. So they dug it out a little bit, I think, and they made sure that water can flow in here so yeah plants and wildlife hey. <clears throat> let's go back to the road and then we go over the bridge and branch off for dirt road and go to the only larger patch of wood that you find here. Oh, and that area over there, it's also uh, renaturated. Yeah, they planted a lot of trees and then they left it alone, but it's, I think, only a hundred meters wide. It's longer, but yeah, only very narrow. So these are typical bridges here over that stream, which uh, actually branches off here into three arms, three arms that cross through this area. And, <laughs> yeah, they put in <clears throat> these concrete pillars here, 20 centimeters high, oh, sorry, 20 centimeters high, to uh, prevent normal vehicles uh, using these farm roads. And, yeah, there is actually no warning sign here, but uh, there is a sign 
for the up uh, where this farm road branches off a real road. Uh, yeah, you have to know it. Besides, most people or many people in this area drive, of course, SUVs nowadays. Uh, not that you need them here because everything is flat and you seldomly have snow in the winter time. But yeah, rural area SUVs. And yeah, uh, they easily pass over these concrete pillars. So <clears throat> yeah, the idea just to pave the farm roads so that, I don't know, people don't get dirty feet, dirty shoes, and can drive their bicycles more easily. Uh, it didn't work out. People around here soon started using these paved farm roads for, well, not farming purposes. Yeah, we will walk a little bit there, up to the left, through the cornfields. The weather is also quite typical, so yeah, not the sunniest part of Germany. Uh, interesting, you can have a close cloud cover here for days without any rain, because, as I mentioned, no mountains, so the clouds can just uh, move further inland without any problem, without any obstacles, and uh, carry their water load to the inner parts of Germany. Ah, a little bit of sun glare here. So yeah, very typical bit windy, clouds, ah, don't get me wrong, there are sunny days, warm, hot days here, but uh, not as much as in southern Germany, where I live. Put the camera up a little bit higher, so yeah cornfields. <laughs> and very sandy ground and yeah you might be able to recognize that a lot of horses in this area. I mean you either <laughs> ride a big car or you ride a horse. I you know for <coughs> Americans, these fields seem to be tiny, but believe me, for uh, Germany, they are quite large. There are larger fields in Germany, but that's in the eastern Germany lowlands or flatlands. There's a saying here that, <laughs> and it doesn't even lose in translation, uh, but there's a saying here that you can see on Saturday who comes visiting on Sunday. Cross exaggeration, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. I don't know if you can hear that, but obviously somebody's working in the wood. It sometimes looks very wooded, but yeah, it's really just usually left and right of a road or a dirt road. Uh, 
exactly one line of trees. And by the way, yeah, there's also a disused drainage ditch here. It's no longer an operation, I think. And you can see, I still have an idea where it once was. Oh, yeah. Some abandoned or disused uh, shelters for hunters. They normally go up a tree or something like that. Or <laughs> in this area, they sometimes are just flat on the ground because yeah, <clears throat> it's flat here. And yes, people are hunting in this area. I think there are some wild boar and, uh, uh, you know, uh, the other game, Bambi's. Bambi? <clears throat> And ducks, of course. Lots of water around here, so lots of ducks. As I mentioned, this is the only real patch of wood around here. So within a, I don't know, five kilometer, ten kilometer circle around the village. Not quite sure. And of course, in the summertime, you're walking along cornfields. Okay, we're going into the wood now, the forest, and for reasons I'm not quite clear, there is a, well, a stone road here. I mean, these stones are old. Yeah, they are nicely weathered. I'm not quite sure how old. I think this is post-World War II. It was used for something, but obviously it's, as you will see later on, it's no longer really maintained. But it was a proper stone paved road through this wood. So this wood is obviously not maintained in any way or used to uh, cut timber. Yeah, that road continues up here to a farm, uh, but we will take another smaller, narrower. Uh, maybe it wasn't narrow in the olden times, but now it is paved path here until it's blocked. You'll see in a minute. Also interesting about these woods is that there's really not much undergrowth. Yeah, you, you can walk straight through without any problems. Uh, the only problem you get, uh, you notice again, we're on a slightly uh, elevated mound or so with that paved road here, stone paved road. 
Uh, if you go down here, you might end up in a bog. And you see that wood is also not very old. I mean, these are kind of the largest trees here. Uh, everything else is much smaller. Lots of birds. And yeah, there fell a tree over. And uh, yeah, but there's a detour around that tree. Nobody cared really to remove that tree. And yeah, just judging by how many, how much foliage is left on that tree here. And the state of decay of the wood, uh, it's laying there for quite some time. Nobody cares to remove it. I mean, why should they? Only people going this path are, yeah, taking a stroll like me or uh, yeah, getting the dogs out, go jogging, whatever. And yeah, we could continue now. <laughs> Another 20 minutes at least, or half an hour through that wood. But there's really nothing new, so I will actually stop here with my rambling, that is. <laughs>